You know, I wanted to do a short video about some new products, and these products are, are pretty darn important. They're more safety related than anything. So the first thing we're going to take a look at is some simplistic things that are very inexpensive that you should be adding to your dive gear as a norm. A lot of times people will uh, they'll buy complete uh, BC's regulator sets, uh, wetsuits, everything, a bag, but they forget those little simplistic items that make your dive gear complete. And one of those is very simple, and it is a octo holder. Now, many times in training, what we see is people will take that yellow hose octo, and they'll bend the hose, and they'll jam it up in a D-ring. Now, that's not exactly the best thing to do uh, for a couple of reasons. Number one, it falls out, and then it's dragging along. It gets caught on stuff. It, it gets beat up. Plus, if you were to ever need it, now you're trying to find it. If it's folded up and stuck up underneath that D-ring, then it can, you grab it and you pull it straight forward, it gets stuck in the D-ring and it can be difficult to uh, deploy. Something simple as a octa holder, now what happens is this has got a little, a little slot cut in it or formed in it like you see here. And then all you do is fold itself, put it up on the one of the D-rings in your triangle, and fold it back on itself. And then you've got this little square in this particular holder. And these are, again, these are very, very inexpensive. So what you're going to do is you're just going to stretch this out and put this over the mouthpiece of the octo. So then it's attached here here so that when you need to deploy you just put your hand on the octo the hose and you pull it away from your body not forward but away from your body and the mouthpiece slips out of this little holder and you're able to deploy it very 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 inexpensive something a little step up the line is this one this one has a clip on and it also has an opening for you to put around the mouthpiece of the octo. This is much thicker, much sturdier, and many times people will put this on their octo and then clip this on their BC. When they're done with their dive, they will unclip it from the BC and actually leave this octo holder on the octo. Whereas other times, People will take this, they'll just leave this on the BC and take the octo out of it. So, you know, a couple of different ways to do it. This one's a, a lot sturdier and uh, costs a little bit more, but it's a lot sturdier and will last a lot longer. Our next one is one that a lot of times people say they've never seen before. And it is uh, a magnetic octo holder. And these are pretty cool. And they've got quite a strong magnet. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to bend over here and get this close to my mic so you can hear how strong that is. It's got pretty, pretty good strength to that magnet. Now, what you'll need to do is just remember there's a little bit of maintenance with this. So... You know, make sure you pull this apart and rinse this magnet on both sides. Put a little dash of uh, like Vaseline or uh, crystal lube or something in here every once in a while to keep this from rusting. And of course, there's a hole in it right here. And that hole goes on the hose of the octo. And then the clip part clips on to your BC. Pretty simple and easy. So we've got these in yellow, we've got them in black, and we've got them in blue. Now these are not meant to hold your, your gauge, especially if you've got a compass on it. And if you're using a compass and this is on your body, remember we don't pull the compass in here next to our body because this will affect the compass. When we swim with a compass, we're in this position. 
all right? And this is well away from your body, and really, if you're in the proper position, it won't. But if you're trying to shoot a heading and you've got it close to the magnet, it will affect it, of course. Just So in conclusion, uh, always be safe out there. Think about your safety. Think about the what ifs and be prepared. Again, I'm Bob Collins. See you next time. Thanks for watching.